give Makuza mine back to the people. That means that you get to nationalize a mine and win an election. I'm here to celebrate our locally produced movies. I just heard that it was produced by a woman, so even bigger, you know, and I like the fact that we should break this thing of men versus women type of thing. We gotta give props and give credit away to Jew. Look, I'm so proud, considering this is the first film that I produced. So that's the one thing that we looked at. It has to be led by women. We need to push boundaries. And it's not just women that are weak in the story. They are fighting corruption and literally fighting men physically. So it's a story that people can relate to. So I'm very proud of it. Uh, I think it was a brave attempt at uh, not just a political thriller, but there's action in it as well. And I think that is a part of our reality. Let's not lie. South Africa does have a reputation of violence. Let's not be afraid to tell those stories in whichever way that it may happen. So the movie is brave in that regard. Yes, that's true. It's a contemporary South African film. You know, it talks about our reality here and now. And I think that's what drew us both to, to the film, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, it deals with like pretty serious issues. But at the same time, I'm really hoping that it's a real roller coaster for the audience. One of the decisions why I wanted to be part of this movie is because, one, I've never been part of a movie. Secondly, there's a movie that was shot in KZN, based in KZN. So I thought to myself, there's no way that a production company could do a movie in my province and not involve me. You know, uh, The character I play is called Hack. He's a computer geek, out here Sekasi, you know that is good with computers, um, very outspoken, loudmouth. He says what he thinks, sometimes at the wrong time and place. I think though it is a movie that people are going to enjoy. Uh, without saying too much, I play the character of U Alutandlovu. She fights because she has to. She never thought that this would be her life or things would turn in this direction. But uh, prepare for an ugly fight throughout the movie. What I can specifically say about this particular movie in regards to women, all the leads are ladies, you know, which is a great thing. And it just so happens that the movie is coming out in Women's Month. So, look, I'm all for ladies, you know, taking charge. I really am. I, I, I support it. I really have no issue, you know, playing second fiddle to ladies. I think it's about time that ladies actually, you know, get what they deserve. Even in terms of what they get paid as well, it should be equal, if not better, than us men. I just think that women uh, are able, guys, like a, produce, a, ro a role and a job has no gender. It's just about the skill. If you are an able executive producer and you're female, get funding, get money. If you are a willing and able writer, get the opportunities to be, for your script to get funded. If you are a willing and able actress, get the, get the roles because of your talent and your skill get paid as much as you should because of your talent and your skill. Simple and straightforward. A job is a job. And if you can do it well, do the job well, get the opportunities. Just because of your gender. It's a little tired to be talking about female empowerment in 2019. We should be talking all blacks should be wealthy or something like that instead of gender. Like I get dumb when I have to talk about, oh, girl, girl power, oh. Yeah, that thing that's not listened to. You know what I mean? So, girl power. I want to give Makuza mine back to the people. That means that you get to nationalize a mine and win an election. If this deal goes through, it will ruin the people of Somkel. Don't you see it? You need to stop pretending you care about the people. Did you let her blindside us? Whose side are you on? Yours. Oh, yours? The company's okay. Well, then act like it, okay? You're not the only young, black, talented thing out there.
We just watched the film. Um, do you mind telling us what you thought of it? How much would you rate it out of 10? Um, 10 is too low a score. I honestly think we need to go much higher. It was more than 200%. The talent in this country is superb. Um, in terms of the movie itself, everything about it was 100% on point. It is amazing to think that this team did something with such limited budget. And I just wonder what more we can do if really in this country we support our artists. So I guess that's what we're taking out from this, support the artists. We need to support this industry. Um, this sort of talent needs to be taken out there on world stages. Um, we need to expose what we have to offer as South Africa. And this is just one such example. I'm so proud to be a South African today. Our stories are being told by our people, not people outside. I mean, we have many stories to tell, but it doesn't always have to be all oh, gloom and all of that. And it was fresh, it was different from what we normally see locally. Um, I, I loved it. I mean, in a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it 11. It was absolutely amazing. Um, gosh, I, they actually exceeded my expectations, I must be honest. The cast did a stellar job. Mobile was absolutely amazing. Those scenes were gut-wrenching. Um, I'm really in awe of the work. And yeah, big, big hat off to the team. Well, hello, everybody. I am Zikona Sodlaga. What's up? It's the name Maps. Guess what? You are watching Cast.